Hey guys, I wanted to do a video on Cult, as she has literally single-handedly by mostly herself has pushed me from being hot stuck in Crystal to almost expert tier. And my myth hero is not even max and all that. So Don't worry. let me know which one Don't is the best costume. Don't worry. I mean, which one Don't that you worry. like Don't for her worry. as well. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm interested to see your thoughts. I really like the Guild Guardian. It's like really simple and clean. And her hair's really cute in it as well. But right now I'm using this one. Which is good as well. Anyways, let's get into a match. As I said, I'm nearly uh, expert, so I just gotta win two more to get to it. And this is the stuff that I have on her. Uh, as you see, I don't have a Freya, so I'm using Eileen. The top tier teams right now use Colt as well for some reason. I um I got totally annihilated by Colt during a match. She did like 200k damage to my team, and that's the reason I just switched. I was like, alright, I can't beat that, I'll just join it. And also, like, she's really good against um, enemy Chris's. Because I was having a lot of trouble against Chris. Because, like, at this kind of uh, tier right now, the enemy Chris usually has, like, plus 10. Alright, let's see this. Yeah, so it's not too late in the match, so that's why there was a lot of Guardian Rings. But she's still doing decent amount of damage. Alright, here's my Baffery going off. Alright, I got Retrude. Yeah, so as I said, like, enemy Chris's at this tier, they have like nearly 600, uh, 60k health sometimes. And that's just a huge, huge brick wall. If my um, Baffery, if my Baffery doesn't eliminate the enemy Chris, I usually have a hell of a hard time trying to get, trying to wither that health down. Like 60k health, it's it's nothing to laugh at. But as soon as I add a cult, I noticed like, see, she was able to get the enemy Chris down from 60k just by herself. That's just like so amazing. Look at her ability. She also blinded the Chris as well, which is like a really good counter. Oh wait, she didn't buy blind this time, but it is still a good counter against Chris, meaning that he's gonna be missing his shots. And this is a good counter for Chris as well. Once he's in the undead mode, it's gonna reduce his buff turn, which is awesome. And all three of these moves are actually counters for Chris. You know, this move, her ultimate move can one shot the Chris and get him to undead mode. So I think that's why everyone's using her right now, like in the top arena. It's like one of the top tier units right now, it seems like. Because it's a really good Chris killer. Look at this as well. Let's see how much damage. Let's see. Right, see that was four people, but I totally just nuked everyone. Holy crap, you see that? It was nearly 200k. So I've seen her nearly do like 300k on people. On, on an entire team. Like I've seen her do 250k, that's like nearly 300k. It's just incredible the uh, amount of damage that she's able to dish out. With her exploit vulnerability, I guess. Plus I have an Eileen to back her damage as well. Now, and Eileen is decent against Chris as well, because she can electrify and uh, burn. But, like, if it's uh, Chris versus Eileen going toe to toe, then obviously the Chris is gonna win. Because, and Eileen doesn't have an attack power to match up to it. Alright, let's see what we eliminate. Okay, just for Dylan's. 
Dallas is actually like not a big threat, I feel like. Usually, huh? No more mercy from now on. So yeah, like it's she, her abilities are crazy. 900% and ignores 50% of defense. I mean, that's just crazy. And on top, you're going to exploit the vulnerability. It's definitely going to one-shot at plus 10 mythical. And I have a... Um, I have a... Trait on her to protect against death. A lot of people skip that and they just go crit damage instead. But I feel like a lot of times I'll end up, you know, against a Chris and his death is really potent against um, my cult if I don't protect her from that. So, it's my logic. So if I win this one, I'll get to Expert. Let's see if I can do it. And against our enemy Baffries, like my Chris is always getting eliminated. I want to get to a point where, like, maybe I want to work on my Wukong first. So, so the Baffry is going to target my Wukong because he's the highest attack. But so far, it's not really working out. If anyone knows why it does not work, please let me know. So yeah, nearly 100k. Alright, hopefully this is going to end it. Go out in a bang. Let's go, guys. Oh, no. Nope. But he did get uh, Chris to zombie mode and popped his whirlwind. Oh, wow. This is looking really hairy, guys. I'm not going to lie. I don't think I have a good chance here, but let's see. This is getting really hairy. Hopefully I burn a lot of these guys. Nope, I didn't burn anyone. Alright, I, I can't get electrified. Oh, I'm screwed. Oh my god, alright, I did get electrified. Alright, I need my electrified to work now. Why does he get another turn? I think it's because my revival. Alright, come on. Come on, you gotta electrify them, Lylin. You can do this. Wow. Wow. Okay, come on, pull through, guys. Wow, guys. I think I finally did it. I reached expert tier. Let's end it with Awakened skill. Let's do it. Let's do this. Yeah! <laughs> It feels so good, man. Alright guys, so that was the video and I made it to Expert. <laughs> Amazing. All thanks to Colt. She's, um, she's OP as hell. Alright, so here are my heroes in a bit more detail. So Eileen. Wukong, Chris, Baffery, and Colt. Yeah, like I said, if you know how to like make Wukong get eliminated by the enemy Baffery's instead, let me know because I tried everything. It's not really working. I, I tried to make, um, you know, my Chris have worse items so his attack is less, but still my Chris gets eliminated. Yeah, guys. Uh, anyway, take care. And hope to see you all in the next video. Bye.